Good morning and welcome to my airspace. I'm back here at the little mini pick, prickly pear groves that I reported on a couple months ago that had what I learned later was mealybug on it. And I was wondering what was going to happen to this plant. It was very overwhelmed by it and I see now that it really really it's kind of bit the dust. I've been standing here wondering if somebody harvested all the pears because there was tons of them on them and I understand that this white stuff it's really not mealybug it is some kind of a Cochineal or cochineally kid or something. I don't know. I don't remember. But in ancient times they used it as, a, and I guess they still do, as a natural dye, a red dye. And I can see looking closely at it there that it does look red. So those are a bunch of little tiny hard shelled bugs. But look at this. I mean, it's just devastating. It's like a fire came through here. It was nothing like this before. If you go back and look at one of my earlier videos, this is crazy. This is like, like I said, like a fire. Wow. Wow. This whole grove of prickly pear that look pretty darn old. Huh. It's like something out of a another planet. Just sapped the life out of it. There's still some babies up there. How about that? Some baby pads? Part of it, they're the, you know, the survival of the fittest. There's a brand new baby pad right down there. Another boneyard. It's not really bones. It's interesting to see the, the fabric. The fabric inside the plant. The skeleton. The skeleton of the plant. See, look at all that bright, bright red. Wow. This is amazing. It just truly, truly sucked the life out of it. I knew, I mean, it was inundated with it. It was still standing very tall. It had lots of prickly pears all over it. Huge ones. I don't know if somebody came in here and harvested the prickly pears. It seems weird that they're all gone, but maybe they fell off with, you know, they fall off at some point. We had some horrific winds over the last few days. Well, not horrific. <laughs> I like wind. I think it got up to 50 or 60, but probably up here in this little area, they got up higher than that. And we had... Uh, a wonderful rainstorm last weekend. Thunder and lightning and everything. Just, it's just all the leaves, all the pads, paddles, pads, whatever they call their protrusions. This is now this looks like one seriously healthy one right here. It's still happy and healthy. I am thinking, oh, how about that one? That's sweet, nice heart. Um, and then there's more over here as I try to get by the sun. These are pretty healthy over here. There's some prickly pears. There's another heart. These 
have got more devastation. There's all the pears on the ground, just shriveled up. Nature got the best of it. Be interesting to know how old these these are. I bet you they're a hundred years old. Pretty amazing. They're pretty much all water. I can see that now. I can understand more about the infrastructure of a cactus. Especially these, which you don't see that often. Or I haven't seen that often. This, none, none of this was, this has just happened in the last maybe two months. It was probably the end of September, so I guess it's uh, two and a half months. When I photographed, when I filmed all the prickly pears, this is another sort of healthy plant. All the pads are nice and thick. And maybe it's a different species of the same plant. Some of them have very thick pads and, and some of them don't. Oh, I don't want to make this too much longer. <laughs> Anyway, there's a prickly pear just resting in there like a little hand holding it. Yeah, huh, sad, sad. I've been here so long, it's interesting, but I guess everything has its day. Its time has come. It was no longer able to sustain its fight against the cooties, the mealy bug cooties. Okay, go out there and make it a wonderful day. This is Saturday, October 20th, 2018. Perform a random act of kindness. Do your best to do that every single day. Some little thing, even if it means picking up a piece of trash. It's all a random act of kindness in the whole scheme of things. And if we all performed at least one random act of kindness a day, not expecting anything in return, think what the world would be like. Many blessings to you. Thank you. Subscribe below on the right hand side and share on social network if you think this was valuable. Much love to you and thank you. Peace be with you. Bye bye. Ta ta for now.